Hi YouTube, this is the Pink Scrapper. Um, my voice, I'm getting like a sore throat, so bear with me. I just really wanted to show you this cute little Valentine's Day mail box. I, um, saw a video on with Stampin' with Tammy, and hers is with the nugget, like Hershey Nuggets, and it's a smaller one, like that, but I was like, well, it'd be, be, really be cute if you can make one of these and, like, put a little card in it for your kids when you, um, on Valentine's Day, but the back, it's, you probably would want to cover it with something so it doesn't fall out, but let's get started. Okay. You are going to need to cut, I'm sorry about that, your cardstock at, um, wait, this isn't the right cardstock. You're going to have to cut your cardstock at four, um, and a half inches. Then you round the edges. I don't have a corner rounder, so these aren't, aren't perfect. I just freehanded them. Um. And then you cut, like, about three inches off the end. Um, what you do, I just do, is I kind of overfold them, overlap them, and you leave, it's about an inch, right? Let me get this pink paper. It kind of has, it's like leaves an inch about. Okay. So, yes, that's that. Then... When you, with this, you're going to get, let's scoot that over, you're going to get, uh, the whole camera isn't going to get this in, but, it's, uh, this is, this is cut at four and a half inches, I think, yes, it's four and a half inches just like this. Then you're going to cut your designer paper at three or what you desire because I like to have the little bit of a white showing. Okay. Then you're going to put adhesive on the back. Um, okay. Then if there is going to be a little... Oh, wow. I got stuck. There is going to be a little, um excess on the bottom of this. Just chop that off. Like so. Okay. Now, you're going to get this part of your mailbox. You're going to get your Snell adhesive on the back, like right at the bottom. And I don't have the best lighting or the best desk. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My battery died. Um, Now you're going to put adhesive on the bottom. And you're going to flip this over. You can flatten it out if you need to. You're going to flip it over and you're going to put it right right there. And right about there. And then you're going to score it like right there so it doesn't I can't find my bone folder but I'm just going to do it with the scissors. They work good. Then you're going to Score it right there, and then you're gonna fold it, and then you're gonna bring this up around, and you're gonna about estimate. You're gonna estimate about, so I'm probably gonna need to fold it right there. So I'm just gonna fold like that, and then I'm gonna bring this over and see if that's good enough, and if not, it's good. Okay, and then now you're gonna put um, adhesive, small adhesive, on the back, like right there, and then you're going to open up your flap, you're going to play around with it for a minute, until it sticks, and then your ends are going to stick out, like this, just cut that to where you need it to be, because I need a corner rounder, and I mine is getting in the mail. I'm gonna get the my. I'm gonna get a uh, one from We Are Memory Keepers. Um. So yeah. So mm, that was a crappy cut, but okay. So you now you got this. Um, the back kind of got cut weird. So this is gonna be my front. 
then you're going to get, um, <sighs> sorry, any size or long or thick paper as you desire, and you're going to put some Snell adhesive, like, right on the side. So I'm going to put some Snell, like, right here. Then you're going to stick it right about down there, and mine, see, I'm going to have to move the camera up. It's very long, so I'm going to move it back down. Hopefully that can make you dizzy. Then I'm going to cut about right there, because I don't want it bending over. I want it to stick up like a mailbox. Um, then I'm going to take some... hard stock, um, and I'm going to just cut a heart out of this polka dot, because I, this is my scratch paper, and I'm trying to get it used, so, just freehand a heart, a half of a heart, anyways, what I'm doing is I folded it, and I'm just cutting it as, like, one piece of a heart, and it's going to turn out like that, and then, you can cut it down, but I like them big because it makes your mailbox look Valentine's-ish. Um, you're gonna now paste it on the back with your Snell adhesive, and there you go. Um, the inside, you can put this. You're gonna, um, you can put anything, like, I don't have any candy, but... I need another one, and this one's a little bigger. This one's, see, you can put, like, maybe some little pencils or some, like, erasers, little toys for your kids. And then, like, for their kids' class, if you want me to show you how to make these, I will. It's a little one, and it can pit, fit two Hershey Nuggets. Well, it's about the size of your both of your fingers about. But I don't have any Hershey Nuggets, so you may have to make it a little bigger. Um, I just kind of did it with my both my hands because I don't have any. And the store is about 20 minutes away for me to go get some candy. So, thanks for watching.